Apple's in-house 5G modem could finally debut on next year's iPhones. That's the cult of Mac headline. Reports indicate Apple has spent billions of dollars developing its in-house 5G modem, but has little to show for it. This is kind of a sad story. In 2019, the company acquired Intel's 5G modem business for $1 billion to get a head start on its development efforts. But that move reportedly backfired with with Apple engineers facing issues with Intel's code, trying to fix the problems is seemingly causing other features to break. (laughs) That's great. This is like the longest story in the world. In June 2022, our favorite... uh, Analyst Ming-Chi Kuo claimed that Apple's efforts to develop the 5G modem had bombed. Since then, though, the rumor mill has indicated Apple's in-house chip could debut on its devices in 2025. And then in a post on X published, I guess, this late late last week, the analyst, same guy, Ming-Chi Kuo, claims that Apple will debut its 5G chip on two iPhone models in 2025. Chip will launch with the iPhone SE4 in the spring of 2025, followed the iPhone 17 Slim later in the year. That's an odd detail to to hear. Like the SE4 and the iPhone 17 Slim. Well, what hmm. about the what about the other iPhones? Anyway, maybe maybe that's why it's going to be so much more expensive, despite having fewer features. I bet they're probably just like dipping their toes into it, you know, on the on the less important iPhones to their bottom line. You know, if, if if something goes wrong with the iPhone SE4, it's like, well, no major loss there. You know, that that's a phone that they sell over a period of like five years. Why, why did you buy the cheap phone? You should have bought a good one. <laughs> and if you complain about the expensive one, then what? Well, mm-hmm. we can give you an iPhone 17 Pro Max instead. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. So currently, Apple sources its 5G chips f- from Qualcomm. And, you know, what a difference the 5G makes, right, in your everyday life. It's just at least as fast as, as 4G, usually. Yeah, that's uh, that's why my hair is blown back. Because when I got, when I got my iPhone 12, I was so just blown away by the, uh, by the fi- power of 5G that my life was forever changed. Yeah, that was like, that was that year's titanium. It was just mm-hmm. such a marketing point and... Such a nothing when it actually arrived in your hands. Let's see. In, in all actuality, I don't. I don't even think my phone plan supports five G. I think I'm still on a four G plan. I've. I mean, a couple of times I've seen better than average speeds. A couple, and I've had these things for years now. Uh, let's see. Mostly, what I do is the, it hops between bands, and I don't get any. It, it's that's what I love. Like, oh, it's it'd be so great if it was five G, but then it just like eventually fails over to four G, and it's like no. <laughs> That's great. Let's see. Uh, anyway, earlier this year, Apple extended its modem licensing deal with uh, Qualcomm Qualcomm until March 2027. Do we want to hear the rest of this? Given the turbulent development journey of Apple's 5G modem, it's entirely possible that the company will hit a last-minute roadblock <laughs> again, forcing it to fall back on Qualcomm's modem again next year. Even if it debuts, chip performance might not be as good as that for Qualcomm. I don't know where that comes from. I, I think that's pure speculation on our part. I, I would hope that if Apple switches to its own modem, that it's actually better and offers some kind of some kind of advantage. I mean, mm-hmm. surely it would. And like you're saying, oh, this is the next the next uh, Apple silicon silicon thing, right? Well, so I, I I haven't actually heard much about how a five G modem would be better or worse. I mean, maybe less of that switching, but I don't know. yeah, I mean, from what I've read, they are just intensely complicated pieces of silicon to develop but you know if if a, a better one would be more battery efficient like currently currently the a big problem with 5g modems is that they are incredibly battery inefficient yeah. and they're a, a, a big power drain uh like apple has a setting in if you go into settings where it can uh you can choose it to forcibly stick with 5g if a 5g connection is available but it warns you this is going to have worse battery life huh yeah well maybe that's it maybe that's a great point maybe it'll be like oh uh and that makes sense for the slit with a slim iPhone, right? Like, oh, mm-hmm. uh, because it has a s- less battery, uh, but it had we paired it with this super efficient Apple five G modem. Now it lasts at least as long as the one with the battery that's you know a third bigger. Mm-hmm. It's hey, you know all these all these kind yeah you know, they're kind of these rumors are kind of dovetailing. I mean, I, I will say about the iPhone Slim, because I, I heard you, you and Airphone talking about this last week. I think maybe like the, the, the one part that we don't know about the iPhone Slim yet is what it looks like. And, you know, sure, it might not have the, the best camera. It might not have the best display. It might use the regular chip instead of the pro chip. But you know what? 
Maybe it just looks really damn cool and we don't know yet. <laughs> It'll be bronze. 